like it's damp. Bum, 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 bum. I want you in my room. Where's the record button? The record. My head's not even in the frame. Lacey, why are you so stressed? I look really tan on the freight on the thing today. I certainly do. Maybe it's just the blush and bronzer. It's like a blue speckle. Must be a glitter. I need a Q-tip. Happy Sunday. Here, here, wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, that's really. Close your eyes. All right. Thanks, kiddo. <laughs> Today we're going to be making a vegan, fluffy, delicious pancake. I don't think I have anything much to say outside of I'm feeling very lazy. I was really excited. I was ready to take it to the top, and now I'm feeling a little more neutral on energy levels. A little bit, a little bit low, I suppose, less than neutral. So we're just gonna make some pancakes, and hopefully that's gonna really rev me up, get me all pumped and excited. Grandma's nodding her head in the background. <laughs> it's Brigitte. Yoo hoo! Maybe we should look at what moon it is. Why we're both feeling this It's probably a Taurus moon and a Cancer sun. Typical! Typical! I miss you in other news. I know. Maybe that's why your fires are feeling burnt out. Well, if you wanna if you wanna pop by and maybe do some herbs or eat together or walk together, you're welcome to come on over. I was thinking we could have a competition to see if we could hold downward facing dog for five minutes. You ready? Nothing really over the top. And if you're wondering, yes, my foot is on the counter and I'm stretching my hip. You gave me like a really good either intro or like bloopers at the end. So thank you for that. All right, toodly do. Adelios. Ooh, adelios, toodly do. <laughs> If you want to make these incredible, delicious, super easy peasy vegan pancakes. Like how many more words could I have just thrown in there? Then just keep watching. <laughs> Ingredients. I've said this on Instagram a number of times, but this coffee from Aldi's, it's so good. I was loving that chameleon cold brew and I still do like that, but this is literally half the price and it's just as good. Oats baking powder, salt, ground cinnamon, apple cider vinegar, vanilla, coconut sugar. I'm going to do a cup. This is a quarter cup, but in total, I'm going to do a cup of the oats and blend that up. So then I have oat, oh, oat flour. <laughs> I think this is my fourth. So a cup of oat flour. What's the matter back there? Grandma's not happy about something. <laughs> Ooh, do we have the coffee grounds on the floor? The oat flour. Then two tablespoons of the sugar. I don't really care so much about the sweetness here. There's a lot of sweetness from the fruit when we put that on top. One and two. Baking powder. A single tablespoon. <gasps> One level tablespoon. We'll do a couple cracks of salt. Really just rounds it out. And a couple shakes of the cinnamon. But I like it, so maybe a little bit more than a couple. Whisk that together. I had already spilled the oats all over the counter. You know how it is. I certainly do. We know how to shoot it up around here. It smells good. Mm, okay. Delicious. Well, now I'm also having a moment, and I don't remember if in the intro I said where I'm getting this recipe from. Tasty.co, Tasty Vegetarian. The only thing that I do change is the adding of cinnamon, and I do a different sugar than this recipe says. But it's so easy and so fast. That's why I love it. Oh, that hasn't been fast so far. Because I've been too busy. Huh? You've been distracting me in the back. Bridget called. If I was on this and I wasn't trying to talk and entertain and all the things, it is easy. Wow, we're, we're gonna... That was almost exactly a cup. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a cup. 
Good thing I didn't have any more coffee. <laughs> a teaspoon, a tip of vanilla, and then a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And I'm not super certain about what the properties here of apple, 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 apple cider vinegar does, but I imagine this is what makes it super fluffy because you don't taste anything at all that's funky or vinegary. But I imagine that's what makes it really fluffy. I'm not super certain. Yet. So that's all the ingredients. Mix that up and then we have to let this sit for five minutes. After the five minutes, then we cook them and that's it. I have this incredible pan though that I do like to use. What do you call that, Grandma? A griddle. A griddle, which I'll show you over on the outside. I have it sitting there right now. I am going to turn it on super low. That way it starts to heat. I find when I let it preheat like that, that I'm not burning and wasting pancakes. Now that we got that from your boyfriend. Grandma wants me to tell you that my boyfriend got me the griddle pan and I love him and I love the griddle pan so much. Oh, it's almost like super frothy on the top. It looks like a, like a latte. Got it just where I want it. Yeah. Do you, honey? Yeah, I guess. So now I'm going to use the smaller, what do you call? What is it? Cup for the ninja, the blender. Oh. <laughs> Whatever fresh berries that I had in the fridge. So right now, and I'm just gonna keep the tops, that little hats on the strawberries. You didn't tell me that's what ruined the blender. Three dates. Make sure you take the pits out if they're not pitted. I've made that mistake before and ruined a blender. You live and learn, don't you? Sometimes you only have to learn. That's right. And sometimes you only learn by making a mistake. The truth, folks. Yeah. So then just a little bit of water so that will blend up. Like maybe a third cup of the water there. And I'm going to blend this guy. Grandma's got her, her scatty sauce. So I'll put both of these on like a really low, low, low. Super low heat. Well, in the, that's really hot. In the meantime, I'm gonna make the syrup for the pancakes. When you're excited, you're excited. That's right. Oh, <sighs> But I guess it's the difference of using like a box pancake mix and just adding water and okay. egg or taking the time to make flour, I guess. And for me, that's just worth knowing what's in my pancakes. Then they cook fairly fast. I would say that was a minute and a half, two minutes on each side. Coconut oil spray. I would think it's probably going to be about five pancakes. Now, if you've never made pancakes before, I don't know if this is like obviously Caitlin, but once you get all those little cute little bubbles on the top and the edges start to brown, that's when you're in like the perfect place to do the little flip. All those little bubbles, that's how we know. And then when I think they're getting close to done, I do like to just double check, like that one's nowhere near. Do a quick flip and flip them right back. Good to go. This one seems to be the biggest, so he's gonna go on the bottom. One more spritz of coconut oil. This one will be the biggest pancake. Turn off the back burner. Without question, pancakes are my favorite breakfast. Since finding this recipe, I've made it quite a few times and it's really good. The almond butter and then the homemade syrup situation. I'm gonna cut up some bananas on there. It's so good. Fingers crossed I don't bust this one. Swift. Oh. Fingers crossed I don't bust this one. Swift. Oh, well, I did. I surely did. But you know what? It's nothing that can't be fixed. <laughs> Wow, that really, that really took a dive. So we'll let this kind of cook through and then I'm gonna have to flip it back over and let that all cook out. I mean, and that's just it, right? Like sometimes you're gonna make the perfect pancakes and other times you're going to burn the pancakes and other times you're going to just have a catastrophe. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be fine. We're gonna tuck that one at the bottom of the stack and we're gonna be in a really good place. Flip that over again. Make sure that we're fully cooked through. 
more snacks and I'm gonna call those done. He's going to live at the bottom of the stack. Off. Nice little stack of pancakes. So one, two, three, four, five is what we're working with here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to power stance this one. So here we have our stack and I just go in the freezer. I mean, I just went in the pantry and I'm over here talking about all this almond butter. I have zilch. I have no almond butter. So it's going to be a true to form peanut butter and jelly pancakes situation because all that I have is peanut butter. So new kind of spin on the recipe. You're like, how different could it be? But I love my almond butter, but this peanut butter is so good. It's so good. So anyways, that's what we'll be doing. The biggest, I think, takeaway outside of this recipe being delicious is what I like to do with like the syrup or the jelly part of the pancakes. I probably made like a little too much, which is fine. But in between, here's your trick. I put a little bit, and when I say a little bit, I don't mean a little bit. I put that between every pancake and oh my goodness, they're so good. It's so good. I just like this better than maple syrup if I have the choice. Boom. Wow. So then I'm going for more of like, let's do Very artsy. Oh. Okay, and the rest. Oh. So then for toppings, I'm just going to go on top with half of a banana. Very deliberate presentation, I guess. Slippery over there. One, two. Ooh. The peanut butter. So I'm gonna get a little fork. Give that a nice stir so I'm more inclined to be able to drizzle. Yeah, I think we're in a good place. Wow, I'm like really rather excited about this. Then just for some color contrast, I have ugh, some pumpkin seeds. Texture, color, health. Good for the skin. Good healthy fats. If you don't like bitter, bitter flavors and you probably won't like cacao nibs, but I love bitter. So a little sprinkle of that. And last is coconut chips. Unsweetened, no nothing. It's just dehydrated coconut. And boom, that's the meal. That's the food. I'm gonna hit just like maybe one, two, like a couple blueberries, one right on the top. Are you kidding with how good this looks? Yeah, we're gonna have to cut into this guy together. Oh, you're, you're wiggly. Wiggly. Oh, we are slipping. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's give it a go. Little banana, pancake. Got some of everything. <laughs> it's just so good every time, every time. There was one of the times though <laughs> that I made these and I just decided like, I'm gonna throw some protein powder in there. That was not a good choice. They were so good, but like this, Looks like a slippery pancake delicious mess. And it's everything that I want out of a like weekend breakfast. Hmm, that's all. All right, you guys, so if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as I hit my heel into the counter. I aim to upload videos once a week. Yeah, that's all that I have for you today. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you all soon. Bye. Ooh, Lacey. I know. Without question. Without. Oh. These little mini pancakes are just like a nice snack. Warms up the palate. Thank you.